How's it going out there? Today I want to talk to you about the cloud uh, for the Amazon Kindle and basically how the cloud works and um, this video is going to focus on uploading your music to the cloud. Um, one thing you may not know is that you currently cannot um, you can't view videos that you upload to the cloud on the Kindle as of right now but you can view your music so that's what we're going to focus on in this video let me go ahead and show you um, how this works we're going to go to the website uh, amazon.com slash cloud player and first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually have to download the Amazon cloud um, the Amazon cloud player it's something you download to the computer and that's what lets you upload your files so I'm gonna log in here real quick okay so now we're in this is what the Amazon cloud player looks like and I have a couple of songs uh, uploaded to my cloud right now about five and um, I also want to show you that I have those same songs that are downloaded onto my Kindle so I'm just gonna shift the camera over for a second and you can see I have um, those five songs are also on my Kindle that are on my cloud player okay so in order for you to upload your music you want to come to the upper left corner where it says upload your music okay so we're going to click on that and then it says get the Amazon mp3 player uploader just click on download now and then it's going to um, ask you to install a program into the computer. We're going to hit run. Give it a second to do the this, this, this. We're going to hit run again. Okay, so now we're going to minimize the cloud player for now. And it's going to start installing. We're going to hit continue. And then it's going to ask if I can access the hard drive. Hit yes. And now it's doing the installation, which is pretty quick. Okay, okay, okay. And this is the first thing it does once it installs the MP3 uh, uploader. It actually searches the whole computer to find any MP3 files that you have on there. Um, it'll also upload um, your ACC files, which is the iTunes format, and it'll upload iTunes playlists as well. So it does a lot. Now, here's the catch to this. Amazon only gives you 5 gigs of data that you can upload to the cloud for free. There is an option, however, you can upload, you can actually update or excuse me, you can upgrade to their paid option which is I believe twenty dollars for the year and it get no no you know it's a little bit more I'm gonna show you right after, after it does this part it's gonna give us the option so I'm gonna show you the price breakdown for the different plans what's cool is every plan gives you unlimited music so if you pick any of their paid options you can upload as much music as you want and then you have space for other things like files and videos and other things you can access from any computer so this should be done in a second and then we'll jump into um, how it works and I'll show you how fast it can up update on the Kindle because it's pretty quick as soon as you upload it as long as you refresh the Kindle um, the songs are right on there so alright so now we're here and uh, it's finished um, checking the computer. Let me go ahead and maximize this so we can see it a little bit bigger. And so it says we found 82 playlists and we found 1,857 songs that are not in your cloud. So if you hit start uploading, it's going to upload everything to the cloud. Okay. Um, I didn't do it that way because I don't want all my MP3s on there because I have stuff that's not music. So um, let me see this out. Here we go. So what you want to do, if you want to just be able to pick the songs that you want to upload, come over here and click on this little um, plus sign right here. And then it'll say playlist and, and artists. So I'm going to uncheck playlist because I don't want it to upload my playlist. And we're going to click on uh, the plus sign next to artists. And then it separates it by the artists. Okay. 
I haven't figured out if there's a way you could have it separated by song. As far as I know, it only lets you separate it by, um, by artists. So first thing I want to show you at the bottom here, it shows you uh, you have 5 gigabytes of cloud storage available. You need 5.3 gigs more for your selection. So if I wanted to upload all my music, I would need an extra 5 gigs. So um, here it says upgrade to a cloud plan with unlimited space for music. So I'm going to click on that. It's at the bottom. And so when I click on that, it's going to take me here and it's going to show you the price breakdowns if you want to update the plan. And so scroll down here. I'm on the free plan. And on the free one, 5 gigs free. Um, songs purchased from Amazon don't count towards your stores. This is cool. So if you buy music on Amazon, that won't count towards your 5 gigs. Only music you upload from your computer. Now if you wanted to upgrade, you can get 20 gigs of storage and then uh, you basically pay $20 for the year. So that's not too bad. And here's the thing. You have 20 gigs of storage and um, unlimited space for music. So you can upload your whole library on there, um, and you don't have to worry about a cap on the storage, okay? And then they have different ones, 50 gigs, 100, 200. It gets a little ridiculous because it actually goes up to 500, 1,000. I don't know who will want to upload that much uh, data, but, I mean, it's up to you if you want to. And then it shows the breakdown. It's like paying less than $1.75 a year uh, for the service. So I'm going to stick with the free one for now. And... Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to just come back to this tab, which is the cloud player. So, let's shrink this down, minimize it. Now we're back to the, the, the computer program, which is uploading this to the cloud. So, I want to uncheck artists right here, and I just want to go through, and I want to just pick um, one artist to upload, okay? In fact, I have a Black Eyed Peas song on here. Just one. So I'm going to click on the box next to Black Eyed Peas. Okay. And then let's see. I'll upload one more. Let's do Brandy. Let's put girl right there. Down. Gotta be down. Alright, so that's selected. And at the bottom, it shows you how many songs selected. And then it shows you um, estimated time of how long it'll take to upload it. It's really quick, so then it's going to be like a minute. To upload these songs so I'm going to click uh, right here start upload and then uh, it'll start uploading